a historic move for the U.S. to open trade between Cuba could actually impact Idahoans. So we turn now to the Pocatello newsroom. Caitlin uh, Lukitas has been looking into this. What might it mean for Idaho exports, and in particular, Caitlin, let's talk about sugar. Well, that's a great point, Carol. That's because uh, uh, sugar is one of Cuba's largest products, and a lot of people don't realize that sugar is all, or sugar beets are also uh, one of Idaho's largest exports. And uh, reps from the Idaho Farm Bureau say, hey, don't worry, there's really nothing to worry about. You don't have to go far to realize sugar's everywhere. And in Idaho, sugar makes up a large portion of the $2 billion of the state's ag exports. You talk to sugar producers, they don't want to see more sugar coming in here. They want to see every bit of our sugar used up before and before we start to import. Idaho Farm Bureau's John Thompson says sugar beets are the only commodity not offered a government subsidy, so it's protected by what's called a tariff rate quota. It requires companies that, that do business in the United States to buy sugar from the United States producers first up to a certain quota that's set every year. Which is good news for sugar beet farmers. If the U.S. opens trade with Cuba, who could export sugar cheaper? But he says we still have a better quality sugar, and that's not all we have to offer. That's right, including Coke products. U.S. Senator Jim Risch says the trade agreement probably won't actually happen. He says he feels both Democrats and Republicans will put up a strong fight against President Obama on this issue. And I can tell you that Congress is very, very unlikely to do that in a very bipartisan way with both uh, Republicans and Democrats deeply, deeply opposed to trading with that communist country. Now, as far as ag exports go in Idaho as a whole, Thompson says it's still a little too early to tell what those price changes might be if, in fact, we open up trade with Cuba. Reporting live in the Pocatello Newsroom, I'm Caitlin Lukitas. All right, thank you, Caitlin. And we'll have more on the Farm Bureau's interview. You can find that on our website, localnews8.com.